Yes, um, I am welcoming you once again to this edition of our program. My name is Chidi Ikenna Amobi. Uh, today I am going to discuss with you, uh, uh, I am going to start, discuss with you how to marry a good wife. How to marry a good wife, <laughs> you know. It, it, it seems funny but it, uh, it matters and it disturbs people because people don't know what they want in a woman. Most men don't know what they want in a woman and most women don't know what they want in, 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 in a man. You know, so I'm gonna tell you how to know what you want, how to see what you want, how to when you spot what you want, how to know it, how to understand it. So how to get how to get a good wife, how to get a good husband. Number one is this if you want if you're a man and you want to get married, you want to get married to a woman, you want to live a, you want a woman you spend all the days of your life with, what you need to do is to number one your prayer is important though. You have to pray to God to open your eyes to see the inner person of the person you want to marry. To see the inner person of that same person you are seeing. You know, when you're looking at the person like this, you are looking at somebody who is beautiful. Uh, she's what you want. She's academically uh, sound. She's um, she's beautifully okay. She's okay, you know. To you, everything is okay, but you're not seeing the inside of that person. So number one is to pray. Then God will direct you to the person. Number two is to pray then God will direct you, will show you the inside of that person you want to marry. Instead of that person you are seeing that you are liking, instead of that person you say, I, I, I love this person, I, I, I am in love with this person, then instead of that person you think you can live with all through your life. Number three is this, that person you say you love, I, I, I sometimes uh, discuss with people that love is not something you say like that. You don't just say, I love you, you know, because she's beautiful, she's, um, she speaks wonderful English, she speaks any kind of language you can think of, or she is, the height is wonderful the way you want it, and you keep saying, I love you. You don't just love a woman at first sight. You don't just love a woman because you, you, you see that or you see that in, in, in her, you know. You don't just love a man because um, the height is wonderful. No. If you want to live with this man all through your life, you have to look beyond that thing you're looking at. You have to see afar. You have to look ahead of that thing. You need to look and see. It, it's true, she, this girl is heightened. I like the height. I like the nose. I like the complexion. You need to look and see more that is not what you're seeing. You need to look and close your eyes. You need to, sometimes you close your eyes to see when you open your eyes what you're seeing is what you're seeing but when you close your eyes you are beginning to see something that is there but you not don't see it with your open eyes you know so you close your eyes and say I want to look at this person I want to look at this person I want to know what she's made up I want to know what he is made up I want to know him I want to know her then you need to understand him or you need to understand her you know, most women go after men who are rich, who they think has money and um, has a fleet of cars, uh, beautiful houses. It is not really bad though, but uh, that is why most of the marriages today are not sound because most men go in there because of what they have seen. Most women, sorry, go in there because of what they have seen. They have seen the money, they have seen the today's uh, satisfaction you know what happens if tomorrow the business of this young man crumbles what happens if tomorrow this young man or one thing or the other happens to this one young man or what if the money you are seeing is not even his money what if the cars is running about not even his cars you know so and tomorrow you find out all these things what would you do tomorrow you see yourself going back to going back to where you should have started you know how can you cope with that and most women go after um, rich men because they think that with rich men everything it's okay most of the women that married rich men 85% of them are not happy doing it 
if they can tell you the truth, if you can go into their homes, if you can look into their homes, most of them are crying. Most of them shed tears every day. Most of them, despite the fact that they have every, everything within reach, they have the money to eat, they have everything in the fridge, they have everything and everything is okay in the house, but they keep crying every day. They keep shouting, they keep asking God why. God, why did I come to this family? But on the other way around, if you see her on the road, still riding her Jeep or riding her whatever she's riding, you think that, oh, I want to be like this woman she's enjoying. Excuse me, she's not enjoying. She made a wrong choice but could not do anything again. And you see somebody married but she's not happy. You see a man married but he's not happy because he looked after some things with her open eyes like this. When you open your eyes and look at certain things, you cannot see the the, 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 the real content of that thing. So how to get a good wife, number three, number four is this, to make sure that what you want in life is what you are going for. I, I, I want somebody I can build a family with. I want a companion. I want a wife. I don't just want a friend. I don't just want somebody who will not really be there for me. I want somebody who I can say, this person is my wife. This person is my companion. You know, don't look at the beauty. Don't look at the physical beauty you're seeing. Uh, actually, beauty, uh, somebody, uh, you know, beautiful things attract the eyes, I know. But if you're talking about marriage, beauty doesn't count. Handsomeness doesn't count. What counts is what you want. What counts is the preservation of that marriage. What counts is that this marriage I am going into, I'm going to see it to the end of our lives. You know, that is what matters. You know, if with, with good understanding, both of you can build up and make money for the family. But even, you might even come in and the man will start making money, you know, because Bible says that when you find a wife, you find a good thing, and every other thing will be added up to you, you know. You find a good thing and obtain a favor from the Lord, sorry. You know, so when you get a wife, when you get a husband, you know, God will surely bless you because He has said it. So when you're going after, when you want to get married, when you want to get your husband, don't limit, don't tell yourself, I want this, I want that. Go after somebody you think you can build a life with, no matter the handsomeness, no matter the beautiful look, no matter the educational qualifications, no matter the stature, no matter the anything you can think of you know once this person is somebody you think you can build your life with go after the person and tell him or her I want to marry you I would you like to marry me then if he says yes if she says yes you go after her and marry her that is one thing you need to know then um, uh, like I said to you before don't forget prayers prayers are important in marriage before you can see your wife before you can get married to your wife before you need to do the first thing you have to do ask God don't just ask your pastor your pastor is good he will tell you fine but you need to tell God look at what I'm going into look at what I want to do look at how I want to do that if it pleases you father may it come to reality May this marriage be a blessed one. May I rem may I get what I want to get from this marriage. This is one of the. This is how we can get a good wife, a good husband. Note that you need not to look at money when you're going in. If you're a woman, you want to get married to this man. Ah, don't look at money. Money is good, fine. If the money is there, fine. But look at satisfaction. Look at the afterwards of this marriage. Look at what happens. So many men, so many women are married, but for, for 10 years, for 5 years, they have not seen their husband. The husband is somewhere or somewhere, you know. Even when the husband is at home, it's. You need to understand the kind of marriage. And this kind of thing takes some women to temptation, you know. The woman will begin to do some things she wouldn't have liked doing, but because she cannot help it, She's a human being, so she see herself doing some crazy things she wouldn't have done. Is this marriage or friendship? Answer me. Well, if I made point here, uh, 
leave a comment below and um, uh, I will be here to answer, to respond to whatever comment you make and um, subscribe to our channel. Thank you very much and um, bye.